Here's say Saturn. Currently flickering away on the CRT. Closed disc. Just calibrated the drive. And it's picked up there's a disc, which is good. Right, so here's the former dead Sega Saturn Mark 1. So this one had no video output. And the power supply seemed to be a bit dodgy, which turned out to be the case. The uh, board is cracked down at the front side, so the pin for ground wasn't making good contact, which was causing it to play up. So I've resolved that issue, but it might need addressing in the future. The optical drive needed full service, recalibration. Um, the spindle uh, was all the way down as far as far as I've I, I've seen it that a disc will allow for so the disc would be dragging on the bottom of the tray so that's solved now too and I've been recalibrated for Saturn discs I'm just checking to make sure that it's not gone too far the other way because sometimes you can recalibrate and adjust the spindle hub and it all reads fine you put the top cover on and it starts dragging on the top of the tray which is never good so we're going to test that now And hopefully, no top tray dragon noise. Yeah, forgive the uh, random pulses of green on the Sony PVM, that's my cable. I need to get a uh, C Sync version of the Saturn RGB SCART cable. So occasionally that will drop sync. That's, uh, that's my cable causing the problem, not this Saturn. Example given. Let's see if it plays say right. Happy with that, I think. Once more testing a few other games, but that's looking promising. I'm going to stop that there. Thanks for watching.